in this lecture you are going to create our very first program in C so first we want to create a separate directory for this module so I say mkdir for make directory in Linux let's name it just C programming and now we change the directory using CD and C programming and now we create a file let's name it printing.c to, to print something on the screen let's say we just want to print hello world on the screen now one of the powers of programming languages like C is its modularity what I mean is that a lot of different libraries have been created in which different functionalities have already been implemented so if you want to use some functionality or write some function a lot of common functions we wouldn't have to rewrite them again we just include that library in our main file and then refer to that function's name for example printing something on the screen is a very common functionality that it has already been defined in another library called stdio.h if we want to include a library into our file we use the keyword include and say std io.h if you want to see the contents of let's say this library all the libraries uh, are called headers and the extension is actually dot h so i press ctrl shift and t and say locate and paste this stdio.h and if you see this is the name of the library which is in the directory of user include actually uh, when we provide the this sign in here we are telling the compiler that you should search in the user include as the default directory for all the libraries so if you want to see the contents of this stdioh it inter actually the reason that i'm explaining this sign is that later when we are going to create our own header or library we would say that that if we want to include them we, we would say for example include and then uh, the name of the library in here the quotation mark means that the header is in the same directory as the main file is but this sign in here uh, means that this library stdio.h is in this path name as you see in here now i hit enter and we could see the contents of this library that how uh, it has a lot of um, well uh, i guess codes that how the printf has been defined and a lot of other files that should be included as well so in here if you want to create or write something we just say int main and then write all of instructions in here and after that we say return zero that if the mm, everything has gone okay then it would return zero now what this int main means is that it's somehow equivalent to the uh, underline a star that you saw in the assembly using this function we are saying that the first instruction in here is actually the entry point now if you want to print something i would just say print f and then let's say hello world later you would see that this is not actually a good way to print something on the screen but as you see if it if we don't include the name of the library in which the print function has been defined uh, then well it would give us an error or a warning that i don't know this function now in here i just press ctrl o hit enter but as we explained before if uh, we want to execute something in here uh, because the cpu the computer only understands zeros and ones so somehow we have to convert this to the machine language right the processes the steps in which a printing.c is converted to some executable thing uh, is in this way that first it should get pre-processed when we say pre-processed we mean that every code inside the stdio.h uh, should be copy pasted into our main file in here so that the some command like printf uh, is known and then after that the compile it should get compiled that this code should get translated to the equivalent assembly code and after that the assembler would take the assembly code and convert it to uh, and create an object file and all the object files would get linked by the linker and the executable would be created now using the gcc as the default co compiler in the linux we could just uh, provide different flags to do every one of these uh, um, tasks one by one or we could just provide a flag which could do all the pre-processing compiling uh, assembling and linking all of them 
together so i press control o hit enter and exit if you want to do everything um, at the same time at the same time we say gcc printing.c i provide the dash o and now i name the executable let's name it printing and hit enter well we didn't get any error which means that it has been pre-processed compiled uh, assembled and linked successfully uh, from now on whenever i say compiled i mean all of these steps have been done at the same time so i wouldn't just name all the four steps if you want to execute it as you saw we just say that um, dot forward the slash and then the name of the executable and we hit enter as you saw we have a hello world in here now let's say we wanted to go to the next line so i just uh, go to the printing.c again and at the end i just provide the backslash and end to go to the next line so i have to compile it again and then we execute it and as you saw we have hello world in here